The winter season of high school sports is underway and in prep hoops, most teams playing non-conference action this time of year, but not the Fox Valley Association where two of the top teams in the state squared off. Hortonville ranked fourth in Division Two, hosting Appleton East ranked number five in Division One. Patriots out and running. Emily LaChapelle snaps it ahead to Lily Hansford. She pulls up and splashes home the tray East led by eight. Polar Bears running the floor too. Milwaukee Panthers recruit Macy McGlone hustling past the defense for the transition bucket, cutting Appleton East's lead to nine. More from McGlone a bit later. She drives into the lane, finishes strong off the glass. Polar Bears come back to win their fourth straight, 64-45. Ashwabanon looking to improve to 3-0, traveling to West Superior, looking good early on. Five foot three, Callie Van Landen not afraid to drive. Into the bigs in the paint, she hits the deck, but not before hitting the shot. Jaguars up by one. Later on, it's Lydia Scheibel hitting the long step back two. Again, Ashwabanon in front by one, but here come the Phantoms. Hey Alexa, can I see a two-point shot from the elbow? Alexa Thompson knocks it down, then it's Bailey Baton bearing the three ball, and West appear comes away with the win, 60-45. Another FRCC versus Bay Conference battle. As Pulaski welcomed in New London first half, Bryn Ignarski coming up with the steal. She takes it the distance for the layup, and Pulaski would go up by five. Bulldogs battling back. Tess Ruck Dashel spotting up from the baseline, and she's going to sink the long jumper. New London down by three. More Pulaski later in the half. Sheridan Flogger now from the wing, and she drains the triple. Pulaski pulls it out in overtime, 56 to 50. To the boys' side, crosstown shootout as Xavier faces off with FBL. Hawks feeling it from long distance in the first half. Sean O'Shea, that's fun to say, with the soft touch from the corner. He'll get that to roll in. The Hawks were up by 16. Foxes trying to trot back in the second. Josiah Butler with a nice crossover to get some space, and he knocks down the jumper to pull FBL within nine. The Hawks just kept pouring it in from behind the arc. Charlie Pfefferly. Drops in another three-pointer. Xavier pulls away to win 70, 93, I should say, to 72. And reigning FRCC champs Southwest taking on Seymour. Late first half, Mason Dorn sending the ball way up the court to Brock Volkman. He lays it off the glass and in. Seymour up by 14 with time running out in the half. Southwest Cam Beatty with the pump fake. And he fires off the three. That beats the buzzer. How about that? More from Seymour in the second half, though. They were in control. Doran this time with a three from way downtown. Seymour gets the win, 85-53. Notre Dame tipping off their 2019 season against Lords Academy, the D4 state runner-up from a year ago. Lords in control early. Jack McKellop's shot doesn't go, but George Mensch there cleaning the offensive glass, getting the put back. Knights up by 18. Dryton's cutting into that lead. Chris Mitchell comes away with the steal. He finds. George Cress in transition for two. But NDA down big. Lord's looking like a well-oiled machine tonight. McKellops to Gavin Stelter, who sinks the three. And the Knights win on the road, 73-59. It's good to get the high school season back in order. We took a one-week off high school sports extra, and we're back this Saturday with a lot more. Look forward to it. Mm -hmm. It's always a fun time. Thanks, yep. Ryan.